Job centers inside Wisconsin prisons are giving incarcerated people a second chance. Yeah, the goal is to provide them with stability when released and reduce the possibility of reoffending. NBC 15's Aaron Sullivan went inside Kettle Moraine Correctional to see how the state's newest job center is making an impact. Do you mind sharing a little bit with me about how you got here? Um, convicted on a drug charge. 13 months in Kettle Moraine Correctional. It's the latest sentence for Ray Jones, and he hopes it's his last. When you get to a certain age, you, you just look back on things like, dang, I did that, that was me, and just get tired of it. The 31-year-old from Milwaukee has been in and out of prison for more than a decade, missing milestones with his two young kids. My daughter, she's pretty smart, she's bright. I used to lie to her and say, you know, dad's in school. And one day she said, dad, you're in jail. She really kind of crushed me when she said, you know, just dad, you, you're in jail, you're not in school. So that right there, I think that was a change of point. I spoke with Jones just a few days before his release. He wants life beyond the barbed wire to look different this time. I'm kind of excited, you know. I never done anything like that, so and I'm always open for new things and, and a change. He'll re-enter the community with a job already secured, after he utilized resources at the newly established job center inside the prison. In the beginning, I was reluctant of even coming. You know, I thought about my kids, my situation, me re-entering the community. And I just said, you know, why not? What can I lose? With the help of tutors and a career coach, Jones spent weeks studying for an apprenticeship test. I'm getting up every morning, coming in here, you know, getting to the books, you know, and just studying. He passed and landed a job as a road paver. It's a good feel. I'm still young. I have the energy, you know, so I feel like that's something I should give a chance. If you didn't have this opportunity right now, how would you feel leaving Tuesday? I would probably be going back home, back at square one. Probably be back in the same crap I got into. They would let me here. His apprenticeship is through Layuna, a laborers union, and one of the newest partners of the job center. You know, it just brings me so much joy. To, um, um, I know that how hard that he's worked and, and everybody who's here has worked. Saul Castillo is heading up the union's efforts to hire incarcerated people so they can start working as soon as they're released. Just an opportunity for folks to not only enter into the construction industry, but an opportunity to actually grow within the industry and uh, move up and, and get different positions as well. He says these jobs are well paying and in high demand. And they're just what career coach Maria Rodriguez seeks out for her clients. I myself have um, ones close to me that have been incarcerated and have got out and had a rough time. And these guys deserve a second chance and the guys that come to this job center and that are sincere about finding work. Um, if I can help um, find them meaningful careers in any way, um, that's my goal. Rodriguez helps with resumes, job applications and interviews. It makes me happy. I go home thinking about it. I'm like, yes, you know, I got one that's probably going to get a job. Now she's working on recruiting more businesses to work with the job center, but often they don't respond back. But um, I just keep on trying and seeing what other companies may work with um, my clientele. The stigma of having been imprisoned is something that is a challenge. Wisconsin Department of Corrections Secretary Kevin Carr says there are no state vouchers or monetary incentives for businesses to hire previously incarcerated people. But he does believe the ongoing worker shortage is leading to a shift in hiring practices. In the current economic environment where unemployment has never been lower in this state, and the number of available jobs and the demand for labor, it's, um, it's a calculation that many employers are making in their own best interest to hire people who were previously incarcerated. In the last four years, the DOC has established 10 of these job centers inside correctional facilities. The best antidote to criminal behavior is a good job with family supporting wages. Giving people like Jones a chance for a fresh start. So it's gonna help me provide for my family. I can leave that past life behind me, I actually, you know, move on, move forward. Over the last 18 months, DOC job centers have helped secure at least 120 pre-release job offers from 85 different employers. In the studio tonight, Aaron Sullivan, NBC 15 News.